Hey there, welcome back to another video of Measure School teaching you the data-driven way of digital marketing. My name is Julian and today we are live to talk about uh, crypto mining. Now this goes out of uh, what we usually do here on this channel, but I've been involved with uh, some cryptocurrencies, buying and trading and so on, like a lot of internet uh, people out there. and. Um, I found it interesting that I wasn't really able to talk about this on this channel um, because it doesn't really have to do anything with the data-driven way of digital marketing. But uh, today I found an entry on uh, something that I've read online, which I wanted to share with you because uh, it has implications for us marketers as well. And mainly the implications is JavaScript. So if you know, we are doing a lot of tutorials on this channel on Google Tag Manager and how you can use that to um, track things on your website. And Google Tag Manager is basically a JavaScript library that uh, you install and can do uh, different trackings easily. Now, I'm always on the lookout for interesting use cases of using uh, Google Tag Manager with other things that you can do on the website. And one of the things that uh, came up recently are crypto miners. So crypto miners are just, um, if you are in the world of um, uh, cryptocurrencies, you know that uh, you can mine um, um, cryptocurrencies through uh, trying to um, decode some hashes for um, uh, or going through the algorithms and, and trying to uh, decrypt hashes and then um, making that available later on to the uh, ledger. So this, I mean, this is uh, way over my pay grade on how to explain this. But uh, the interesting part here is that a lot of uh, bigger miners out there, they actually have mining rigs and they have, um, they use uh, uh, mostly GPUs to uh, do all these algorithms algorithmic hashing. So uh, you need a lot of computer power to actually do this efficiently. And um, somebody or uh, a company called um, CoinHive has, has uh, actually figured out how to make this useful on the user's browser. So you could be using the actual computing power of the browser and therefore the CPU as well um, to, to uh, decrypt such has hashes and they have actually built a, a JavaScript library that you could install on your website. And then you would have this library um, doing encryption on the actual computer of the, um, of the user who is visiting the website. So I've just um, looked at this, this interesting article, I came across this article, of somebody embedding JavaScript on their uh, website to do uh, crypto mining and um, what their results were. So I dig, uh, dug a little bit deeper and I thought maybe you could install this with Google Tag Manager, wouldn't that be great? Now this uh, company that actually um, uh, provides this JavaScript library is CoinHive and CoinHive uh, works through um, crypto mining and through the user's browser. Now, the first thing why this actually works is actually because uh, the browser gives us partial access to such a CPU power. Before, like older browsers wouldn't have done that. Um, now with the newer browsers, you can actually have a deep integration with the systems and you can play games within the browser, uh, pretty complicated games at some point, uh, at such points. So, um, oh, I'm a little bit loud here. Um, so you you have maybe this, this, this crypto power to available and they have made this um, available through their uh, JavaScript library. So you could install this on your web page and do crypto mining, sending these um, hashes back to uh, the library and then um, essentially um, uh, decrypting such hashes. Uh, now, how does that work? It's actually just a JavaScript library. So um, you have this, this um, thing running and I'm, I, enable this right now. So it's now um, uh, calculating these hashes and it's sending it back to um, the server. And in the end, if a lot of people are doing this, this would actually help um, the, 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 the server in the background um, decrypt such hashes for the cryptocurrency Monero. Now Monero is a um, different cryptocurrency from Bitcoin because it actually is very privacy concerned. So it doesn't really 
um, give out who sent what money to whom and so on. Um, and that way it is very much often used in the dark web as well. And yeah, um, crypto mining in that sense is um, kind of inefficient because you're doing it uh, on a computer browser with a CPU unit. Um, so it's not very efficient, but if it's doing uh, if it's done by millions and millions of people uh, who are visiting your website, it might be something that is um, um, uh, could make you a little bit of money, especially when cryptocurrency are going up and so on. So um, if you look at this website and I've dug a little bit deeper, it actually um, is framed as something that would do um, would get rid of advertising on your website, but uh, an alternative to monetization on your website. So if you don't want to have um, ads on your website or looking for an alternative, you could do crypto mining, get um, um, basically uh, take the computer power from your users, giving it uh, to this network, to this blockchain, and then um, 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 mining uh, cryptocurrencies, in this case Monero here. And they have blown up over the last um, few months because um, a lot of people saw their entry with crypto mining and said, hey, I have a big running website, I will put this onto my website. Um, what it about, about exactly does is in the background it uses your CPU. So uh, when I clicked on this button, um, I actually heard my computer here, which is just a MacBook, um, the the um, the CPU unit or the the fan really spun up, and that's when I mostly noticed that my computer is using a lot of power here. So um, um, this this actually would in turn mean that it my computer uses more um, more of its resources and therefore also more energy. Uh, on that side. So it would come onto my bill in the end of the month, but it's actually just on this website, running on the website. So it's an alternative way to actually pay this forward uh, to this website. Now they have different integrations here. One of the integrations is that something is running on your browser where you, where you actually click this and it would start um, uh, crypto mining here. You could also, um, they have different API, so here we have also a capture system. So you don't have, to, if you want to verify, you would go through a little bit of crypting and you would verify that you're not a bot. Um, similar to reCAPTCHA, they have short links. So if I click on this link and I forward it, then um, it would uh, cryptographically, um, it would, it would uh, calculate these, these hashes and then forward me on. So that's how you could earn money as well. And um, it is all integrated through a JavaScript API. So just this JavaScript API could be implemented, for example, also through Google Tag Manager and you could earn money with your website. Now, should you be doing this? I have been uh, going down a rabbit hole uh, over the last 30 minutes uh, trying to figure this out. This took me from um, Twitter here over a few articles um, what this actually means. And a lot of people are actually calling this crypto jacking. Um, because it actually takes advantage of your user's browser and sometimes, and you can um, configure it so uh, somebody is not able to actually see that this is being used other than uh, looking into his system requirements and seeing, oh, my CPU is spun up once I went on this website. So um, a lot of people are seeing this as very intrusive and it has shown that it's been used by a lot of um, websites, um, uh, illegal websites such as, um, not illegal website, I guess, I guess like the, um, uh, if you look at um, websites such as, um, such as, uh, what's this Torrent website called? Um, um, Pirate Bay. Uh, the Pirate Bay, then uh, they have seen that um, they have put this onto their website. So uh, everybody who visits their website would uh, start um, mining Monero for them and they obviously make money with this. And it's an alternative to the advertising that they have on there. But it takes a lot of your resources of your uh, computer with you. So um, a lot of uh, scammy websites have done, uh, started doing this in the background and there are different alternatives to, to CoinHive here as well. So in, in a lot of instances, security firms have actually 
um, put this onto a, a malware list. So this would actually be malware considered malware. And I wouldn't even be um, uh, positive that you could put this onto uh, Google Tag Manager, for example, because it's actually not something that, um, oh, it is classified as malware and um, Google uh, Tag Manager would block this automatically for you. I haven't really tried this out with Google Tag Manager, so this is not really something I would I would encourage you to do. But it's really interesting that we have a JavaScript library here, potentially uh, could be um, put onto your website, and you should be looking out that maybe also for security concerns, if you are a marketer or if you are a website owner out there, somebody could inject this um, onto your um, website. Now. Sometimes this is not even done with CoinHive, not even done uh, with the JavaScript libraries that are out there, but um, could be done through a plugin that you have installed on your website browser, uh, on your website. So if you have a scammy um, a WordPress plugin running, they could inject that in the, in the background and suddenly you have, you have this on your website and don't even know about this. And it's mining for the actual um, uh, plugin creator, for example. So this is all considered malware now and it has blown up over the last few um, months because obviously uh, crypto is very hot. The second thing is that it's easily installable with a JavaScript library. And the third thing is that um, it is accessible um, to hijack the CPU power of the user via such a um, plugin or um, I could think of plugins, I could think of um, um, what's it called? Browser extensions that you can install, um, websites, plugins. Um, so apparently it has been found on, or, uh, yeah, on, on many scammy websites. And if you find your browser being hogged up, uh, all the time when you visit your website, then it's, um, it's worth going into JavaScript and looking what JavaScript is actually installed on this page. Now, obviously, a lot of these ad blockers actually put this onto their roster and said, we are going to block every coin hive that is out there. Um, and I think it, it's, um, it's a development that um, they can, and obviously all the block ad blockers can do what they want. You can also install a Chrome extension such as um, Noicoin, NoCoin, which blocks these, these miners on the web, and there are several out there already. And again, this is not something that you see visually on your website, but it would be something that is happening in the background. And that you can actually configure, when I look at the, the documentation here, um, how, um, how big or how much you want to actually mine, and maybe um, how, how much of the CPU power you want to make accessible to uh, your script. So um, maybe it's not something actually that you notice on the website. Maybe it's not um, going in and, and hogging up your, your CPU and um, your fan. So you wouldn't actually notice it. You would maybe notice it if you go into your systems um, uh, monitoring and see uh, there if the uh, CPU um, is somewhere off when you visit a website. But um, this is definitely something to be aware of. Now, there are two main things that I guess uh, I would uh, look at is one of the things is the new um, interesting use of uh, block blockchain technology, but also monetization and cryptocurrencies um, in the space of a website monetization. So you have that. And I think CoinHive, when I look at the website, it it is framed in that way, but also uh, for me at the first glance, it was like, oh, this could be an alternative to ads out there. Um, just help the website owner who has built a big website apparently um, uh, to monetize his website somehow. The other thing is, which is scammy at the at the same time, is like not making not making the user aware of this. Now, Coin CoinHive by default in their widget default. You can't actually. You actually need to show um, uh, w once you you embed this thing, um, the the user has consciously click on it like we did in this demo uh, a while ago um, to actually use their CPU power. So they have gotten rid of it, but obviously the technology is used, uh, and you can probably rewrite this somehow um, to to not have this uh, openly shown to the user. And then it gets into a realm of um, 
yeah, malware in the end, right? So they have created a new, and they have admitted this, um, they have created a new wave of malware where suddenly all the scammers out there see, um, okay, I don't have to like get my person to uh, go over to a porn site, I just do crypto mining on this page. And uh, this is what uh, apparently has blown up, especially because the price of Monero also went up multifold over the last um, few months. So they see their entry there. I think as a marketer, as somebody who is um, looking into, uh, like this channel, as looking into um, new marketing technologies, um, which are also bound to monetization. I think this was uh, just a video to show you what is possible with JavaScript. Um, this is obviously possible because we have these new powerful um, APIs available that actually hook into the computer's CPU somehow with the, um, with the browser APIs that we have available. And, um, we should be aware of that. One coin is the malware. One coin is the uh, one other side of the coin is the monetization, and we'll see how it develops. Now, I I wouldn't use this on my website, um, just because uh, I I wouldn't. Uh, w one is that everybody actually says that you need to have a huge huge website in order to make this work. Now, for uh, maybe something like Pirate Bay, it would um, w would make sense. But on the other hand, um. First of all, I'm misusing the trust of, of the users because I, I would be um, doing something against their will. Um, that may change over the next uh, year years or so where pe people say, okay, I trust this technology and it's not using as much as of my resources, so I trust this person and I want to help him out. The, the, the second thing is that um, I wouldn't use this because it's also nowadays um, classified as malware, so you shouldn't be using this through Google Tag Manager. Just find it so interesting uh, how JavaScript can impact uh, um, how the connection is between you as a website owner and then suddenly cryptocurrencies and you can mine stuff uh, through the user's uh, browser. Um, so that's that's the interesting part to me from a marketing technology standpoint as well. Now, if you're super into crypto and watching this video, um, you can actually, I'm gonna put up a website called measureschool.com slash contribute, where uh, if you want to donate any kind of cryptos that you have, then I will have a wallet there as well, because I find it a very, very interesting development what is going on with cryptocurrencies, but the blockchain in general. So um, that's something I'm gonna uh, head up there as well. All right, um, so that's it already with this week's, um, no, not, not this week's video, but uh, this live session here. Now, if you like this video, then give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel right over there because we'll bring you new videos just like this one every week. Now, my name is Julian. Till next time.